the incredible monorail. Look at that beauty. Magic Kingdom. We actually just walked here from the Contemporary. That's what that intro shot was. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're just here for a little bit because we're gonna head to the Wilderness Lodge in a little bit to meet up with Taylor and Josh and the Walt Disney World couple. Yep. But uh, we were just hanging out and then uh, decided we were gonna meet up with them and we were already here so we figured let's go meet Mickey Mouse. And that's what we're gonna do. So let's go do this. Okay. Magic Kingdom in the rain is so cool because everyone's running around, umbrellas, ponchos, and they just don't care. Some people don't care. We don't care. We just love being here regardless. But yeah, it could rain. Yeah, storm. don't could... ever let the rain rain on your parade. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So you might be wondering why I have all these magic bands on. It's because he wants to look cool today. That's right. Actually, it's because I wanted to test out the cool effects. Look at that. Wait, how about this one? And this one. They all say cool things too. Happy Hollow. So yeah, I recently discovered that uh, you can uh, test out your special effects magic bands in City Hall or probably at any other Fast Pass kiosk and it'll show the actual effects and you don't feel rushed. I got super excited about it, brought all the bands, and I even made a vlog just about it. That's how excited I was. Oh, well, there she is. Let's go meet Mickey. Ooh, the rain has stopped. So very crowded here at the Magic Kingdom. I think it's just crowded in this central hub here because everyone was seeking shelter from the rain. Did I just hit you with my umbrella? I'm sorry. There it is, Town Square Theater, presented by Nikon. This is also going to be our first time meeting Mickey Mouse without the talking Mickey. Well, not our first time, but our, but our first, first time, time since he left. Yeah. Yes. Packed up his bags. And I really enjoy talking Mickey. Shipped off to Boston. Did you like talking Mickey? Yeah, I did. So let's see how this interaction goes. Man, the struggle. At this point, you have to decide. Tinkerbell, Mickey. Tinkerbell, Mickey. Of course, we're going to go Mickey. Yes. I love the signage in here. Casey at the bat. Look at that. Or the three little pigs. Ooh, and the three cabaneros. So we have to wait in line here for a little bit. But we told Taylor and Josh we'd meet them at 7 at the Wilderness Lodge. And we got a half an hour. I think it's safe to say... We're going to be late? Yes. <laughs> how about this sign for an informative lecture on how to sleep? Presented by you or me. Because you always say that I make you fall asleep when I start talking about, like, Marvel. This one's cool, too. The Headless Horseman. Featuring Hippie Dog, Claire Cluck, Peg Lake Pete. Free pumpkins. Look, they get free pumpkins. Oh, oh. And Peg Lake Pete. Oh. Ooh, and McDuck Safe. Do you know what the combination is? 4, 32, 17. 
I think it's got to be within like the, the 20s. 21, 32, 17. Thank you. Oh, yes. Thanks. Oh, hey. We're here. And there is Mickey's queen, Minnie. You're my queen. Oh, dear. Yes. Your ears kind of look like a tiara. Thank you. <laughs> oh, guess whose turn it is. Meet. Oh, Mickey, Mickey. Hello, good sir. Hi. I'll, I'll come in for a hug. I got gotcha. you. Thank Bad you. Boy. Be nice. Be nice. <laughs> yeah. Yo, fun thing. I actually proposed to Veronica here. Yeah, oh. do you remember when he proposed yes. to me right here? I'm sure. I did. did. I proposed. Yep, that was fun. Yes. <laughs> I got my happily ever yeah. after. She told she told me to shut up at first. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mickey. Oh. Oh, you got to scan the magic band. I did, I did. Thanks, Mickey. Bye, Mickey. It is definitely not as fun. Yeah, 100%. for some reason, I mean, because we're used to talking Mickey, it felt quiet. Yeah, he didn't talk. Well, yeah, because he can, but it just felt quiet. Yeah, but it was very, like, quick I much prefer him. talking Mickey. Yeah, he was very personable and fun. Yeah. Bring him back, Disney. Okay, we got to get going. Got to get over to the Wilderness Lodge from Magic Kingdom. What's the best way? Oh, how about we we'll walk to the car and just drive over to the Wilderness Lodge? That sounds like the best way. Yeah. But I did have something I wanted to point out. What's that? Please check out my ears. I know, I said that. Those ears are beautiful. Yes. Susan made them for me. Yeah, they're like uh, a tiara, but ears at the same time. I think they're so Wait, magical. I gotta get a little bit look on this. Wow. You are beautiful. Don't flirt. Goodbye, Magic Kingdom. We didn't even get to see the castle! That was one of the quickest trips I think I've ever been to Magic Kingdom. We literally went like City Hall minutes. to Town Square. City Hall, Town Square, and then we're back out again. Titanic leave in five minutes. Oh boy. And monorail. It's a beaut. I love Magic Kingdom monorails. Why? What's the difference? I don't know. Actually, you know what I have to say? I love the Epcot monorail shots better than the Magic Kingdom monorail shots. I gotta be honest. Because the monorail shots at Epcot are in the park. Well, my thing is that I love the ones at Hollywood Studios. There's no monorails at Hollywood Studios. I had a trick of everybody. Oh my goodness. I don't think they'll fall for it. Secret pathway. Wow. I wonder where this leads to. But there's a Cheetos bag over there. Oh boy, wow, that leads right into the utility doors. Okay, it does not say cast members only. Mira. That leads right to the utility doors. No. Here comes a bus with the VIP cast member. Hers, they're all VIPs. Yeah. I just have to stop every time I see a monorail. I know, like we're already late. <laughs> <laughs> Just cracked open my Bud Light. And found Taylor and Josh. Hey! hey. What's going on? <laughs> Let's have some fun. And I always say this, but it is my favorite resort here because of just beauty. Absolutely stunning. So Yip is really trying to debate whether or not she's 40 inches tall so she can play in the... Oh, 48 inches short to actually go into this is called the splash pad. Normally, I'd say we're waiting for the monorail shot, but it's been like 10 minutes since we're waiting for this geyser shot. We're waiting. Yep. 
Oh, and it's going to be a beaut when it happens. Oh, it's really cool that the horn from the boat is going off, too. I don't think it's done. Absolutely wonderful. USA all Absolutely the way. wonderful. And uh, s'mores marshmallow is over. Putting out the fire. It's an ashy situation. So with our sad, sad news here. It's time to say goodbye. Yes, we're we're tiring the green public's bag. Now a lot of people might know know what the meaning of this is but some people do know what the meaning of this is and if you do this is a moment but we are getting a different one target has mickey mouse insulated yes. coats and i need it it will not be forgotten yeah, so i have been really really wanting to play pool for a very long time and we're gonna make that happen here the guys are point and taylor's for the break Nothing in the hole. She got one. They're solid. All right, here we go. Veronica's first shot. Seriously? Seriously? <laughs> so currently, Veronica is the only person to make any. So we've got one ball left. Me and Veronica are stripes. Josh and Taylor are down to the eight ball. My Taylor turn. just scratched. Oh my God. What do you do? I have to get the black ball in. Take the camera and I want Josh to is it. lining up his shot. Could oh, this be not. the last shot of this game? Don't touch it. Ah! Oh. Well, it came down to the eight ball. Did I ruin your shot? No, you didn't. Clean it up. <laughs> I gotta help. But Veronica made the winning shot. I did. She did not. She did too. Yes, I sure did, didn't I, everybody? Josh, <laughs> what happened? Josh screwed up the winning shot, and Nate got the winning shot. Couldn't handle the pressure. The pressure. The pressure. So we all decided to stick around to watch Happily Ever After, and then the water pageant. There's Josh, Taylor, and Veronica. You can see it from right there. So, even though Happily Ever After is going off and everyone's watching it, I had to run to the restroom. And I was kind of shocked that they're playing Happily Ever After in the restroom. That's crazy! Notice everybody's standing on the pavement. And then you got Taylor, Josh, and Veronica in the grass. <laughs> Love is an open door. Love this part. Jeez. 
just like this gentleman's shirt in front of us. Gotta love the life we're living. And just like that, Happily Ever After has ended and the water pageant has begun. <laughs> and uh, it's right by the bar so you can get drinks where you can get food. Mm -hmm. And then we have an obstructed view but you can see the fireworks oh, and yes, see the water pageant. The fireworks. Yes. So, we specifically came over here to see the water pageant and then I messaged Veronica and said, hey, want to come? Watching the vlog actually happen. I said, sure. <laughs> yeah. She said, sure. I said, well, wait, what, what did I talk to? All right, well, what did I exactly? All right, well, I guess that wraps it up. Kind of weird how we ended up at World Nice Lodge. Went all over the place. <laughs> Everything's funny. Taylor and Josh. Had a good time. Watch Happily Ever After, the water pageant. Oh. Uh, what? Yeah, that's what we did. To so love the life you live. Live the life you love. See you next time. Toodaloo. Bye.